Welcome again. In this video, I have revamped the mono black discard deck. Post rotation, standard rotation hit the deck pretty good. We've lost our discard uh, outlets, our Yarox Fenlurker, and our rats. And the replacements are humans which means Cavern Whisperer also had to go as well. We'll also notice the absence of the other human from the previous build, Archfiend's Vessel. With that, the removal of uh, the Graveyard Recursion. So no Malachir Rebirth and no Call of the Death Dweller. And you'll see why, because we have cards that recur from the Graveyard from the new set. So to start off, we have our Hand Disruption spells. We have four duress and four kite sail freebooter so the trade-off is that uh, these aren't catch-all discard spells limitations of duress non-creature non-land and then kite sail freebooter if it leaves the battlefield to get the card back but on the upside you get to see their hand and know some information our removal suite remains basically intact so we have our four Grasp of Darkness, and our four Murderous Rider, Swift End. And coming to the main board, we have our four Blood Chief's Thirst. And then we have our Stellar 4-5-3 drop, Hunted Nightmare, and our Catch-All Enchantment, Demonic Embrace. Best Crap Rare and Standard, turn all of your creatures into really fast win conditions. The deck also gets at the two drop, Skyclave Shade, Basically a blood ghast if you are familiar with the old Zendikar block rare that was played in all formats This one is a little bit uh, fixed. It is 3-1 Still can't block but you have to pay mana with the landfall trigger to get it back But also it has kicker so it can become bigger with the loss of Cavern Whisperer we have Rankle Master of Pranks coming back to the main deck for extra discard or creature removal or damage and draw. And then we also have at the top of our curve two Drana, the last Blood Chief. A 4 4 flyer that gets creatures back from the graveyard to keep on doing damage. Lastly, I am running one Dirge Bat main for extra removal and also flash. The mana base remains the same, Swamps and Castle Lockthwain. Our sideboard has remained mostly the same, except for the stuff that was scooted into the main deck. So, if you are new to this video, we have two Timerit chosen from death for creature beats and life gain and graveyard removal. We also have... Farika's Libation for creature light decks and also enchantment removal in black, which is pretty neat. That'll teach you for hard casting a Shark Typhoon with six lands out. We still have our singleton, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. We also have three Elspeth's Nightmare and three Extinction Event, a great way to remove creatures from the game that are difficult to remove or a lopsided removal spell if it works out in your favor and lastly we have our new additions that i'm running in the sideboard we have two grim dancer for extra life gain and extra removal for a uh, very efficiently costed creature and also two agonizing remorse against those control decks that you want to just hit them off their cards and have them go into top deck mode. So there you have it, my post-rotation mono black discard. Of all the decks that I've made post-rotation, I think this one is my current main one just because it's uh, been consistent and it basically has a lot of good value on each card and the ability to answer a lot of different threats, creatures, planeswalkers, big spells little spells good thing lucky clover is ban hammered to a different universe thanks for watching and have a good day